what is up everyone this is Justin Wong and we are here with another Teppin video and this time it's going to be about the, the new expansion Day of Nightmares and they added a bunch of new cards so here's my new deck with the Metsu Shoryuken my one of my favorite decks I used I added a Maki which gives you combo Sergios which also gives you combo but also flight what that's so good and then we have another card Lair Lair is really good as well she's pretty much another Iris but you know she's just really good so let's just go check out some of the matches and you know see how I see how I do all right all right here we go we got the Metsu sure you can obviously um, this is not the best hand so we gotta pretty much just like waste some cards there we go we got Lair like I said Maki gives you the combo she's a he's a three and Lair gives me the MP and the crazy part is that if they have a flyer it does four damage automatically so that's gonna be really good all right so obviously we have to deal with the Shenko somehow but I'm gonna use the Sergios right here I have flight plus combo okay yeah we're trading eventually I'm, I'm gonna see a probably see a resonate pretty soon yeah there we go let him do it first and he's gonna reduce her attack which is fine but I'm gonna give the Sergio art charge so it's gonna have that three damage plus I charge more of my AP so I give more in general that's fine as well you're gonna halt me which is kind of common but you know I'm just kind of thinking about mm, yeah I'm gonna probably use shield just right here to protect Maki because we can't just we can't let just like two monsters die obviously Lair's is gonna be done right she's definitely gonna just take the L real real fast in general so we're gonna give uh, her you know plus two as well for because obviously she does combo so she's gonna do four damage in this situation and it's gonna be pretty hard right because obviously that Shenko is definitely there as well right and then here we go um, that was actually kind of just a waste because I, I didn't need to do that, but yeah, I mean It is what it is at this point I, It's kind of gonna be useless at this point because I have two combo characters and I'm probably gonna build another uh, Master sure you can anyway, I kind of did that just to kind of like stall time Just because like maybe they'll mess up their res their their action card and I'm probably gonna use this card to give myself defense right um, gives plus two HP to just friendly neighbors in general. I right, gonna give this minus one, but I'm gonna give uh, this true faith real quick. So I'll have four attack, which is gonna be good because obviously I'm gonna fly over Oro. Um, if he doesn't have any halt cards, like that's gonna be whatever, and that's fine too. You're gonna send me to the EX, and then now I got the state of nut in this, which is gonna be really really strong for me to use because the amount of action cards I will use it will increase just like the the count for attacks in general. So depending on how many I use, that will determine what am I going to be just using. Um, in well, what would be buffing in terms of just attacks, right? So boom, all right, you're going to use your Rose card. And this is where I have I have the set play right here, right? See, now I have plus six, so that's 11. I don't know if you could take this. If you don't, if, if I don't know if you could take this. Yeah, you're going to put yourself flight. You, you have 20, look at that. That Shango has 21 attack, but you, you and, and you have no more MP. So this is quick attack game over it's gonna hit for pretty much 22 but you only have 12 gg and yeah i mean that's i'm to show you can again let's move on and show you the ryu shinko duken deck as you can see this ryu deck the one new one with shinko duken it really changed a lot you obviously added a new bunch of new cards as you can see compared to the old ryu decks so it's a lot of explore options which leads into just burn and then shinko duken as well Alright, so this time we have the Ryu Shinku Aduken deck, and uh, it's going to be against X. Um, I got Gao Damnation, we got the new Jill card. We have a lot of, we have four, four cards are, are pretty much new right at this point. So, the point is, you know, we're trying to get these explore options. There's going to be some depth for explore. Um, when you play them, you get explore. Even cards were like Jill, where if you activate an explore, or if an explore happens, you know, she gets some effects, right? So, Boom, right there, Gao dies, so he gets detonation, which does me six damage in general, but that also will give Jill v uh, Veil, so you can't even target that. So that's gonna be really good, and uh, yeah, this X deck is actually pretty interesting. It's a, it's a black and green deck, which is pretty, pretty interesting. So it's gonna be pretty hard to deal with, because I, I can't target that card in general, right? That card is probably gonna be hard to deal with. I can't even really kill it. Um, so it's going to be a situation where I just need to trade attacks, but he might just be healing, healing, healing in general, which is going to be 
Yep, there we go. That, that's a new green card as well. The auto heal. The auto heal is really good with Mega Man. It's a must have in general. So that's going to be really, really good as well. So now I, I'm going to probably have to rely on Nash. Um, so with Nash, she's a four card, gives you combo, but once you get three explorers, he gets a boost of attack plus the uh, plus two and four. So that's going to be really good, right? It's going to give me some really good damage, and I'm going to use this card as well to just give me that that uh, fighting spirit, that, that that fighting spirit, which can give you plus two plus two. I use that action card to kill him because Leon is definitely going to go down, and if you if your EX pockets are are just filled up. Your your the card that you'll get will go to waste. So that's why I use that card to kill him, take him out of the field as well. Boom. So now I have two of those. So this is gonna be a gamble because it's gonna be really hard for me to stop, right? Even if I put Nash out right there, he'll die in one hit. So I can't even include a Duke in that as well. So what I'm going to do is I need to make Nash super strong. So we're gonna go gamble on this on this just just pretty much in general. Okay, thank you. You did flight, so now I have literally seven. So that's 14 damage right there, right? 14 damage because combo. And I, I'm gonna I'm gonna hover that Shinko Duken right in that middle slot, just like right there. Okay, you're gonna charge shot, so you're gonna keep boosting your attack with the auto heal, which is good stuff. So, but yeah, I'm like I'm taking this hits. Boom. Okay, good. So now this is a gamble. This is completely a gamble right here. Like, what's gonna happen? Like, who's gonna make it first? Because I will Shinko Duken you so fast. And yes, there we go with the surrender. And now let's go try out Wesker. Let's go, let's go try out those. And we got Wesker here. So another cards we obviously added was the high max and Albert Wesker itself just gives you revenge and plus. So it's gonna be really interesting. All right, so we got Wesker Dark Destruction here. And you know, I remade the Wesker deck. Um, the point is the Albert Wesker card is gonna be really, really good. So right, you see how he has a five, he's a zero three. So pretty much every time he gets revenge, every time a monster dies and you know you do revenge, um, he gets plus one attack. So we're gonna try to just kind of just like let these like these other characters die just cause, so he can come back stronger, and then use Wesker later for like the end game, right? So look, boom, that's three cards right there. So like that's gonna be plus three attack in the future, and then that's gonna be uh, pretty interesting, right? I got two selfish predations. Oh my god, Felicia. Jesus Christ, right? All right, good, good. I got a good draw with the Zant with uh, Arkham coming back, and also the also the dinosaur. So that was pretty, pretty, pretty helpful actually. Yep, killed that. We're gonna have Iris, and boom, we're gonna use that sacrifice health. I don't know if you if you have anything to, to boost your attack for Iris or anything. Yep. So she's gonna go down. I will destroy. You will take this four damage. And then let's see if you can protect last three. That's four, three, three damage right there. Look, that is the purpose of revenge. When you revenge, you come back so much cheaper and stronger at the same time. That's mad cheap, right? Okay, you're gonna use Kikosho. That's fine. Uh, Vile's gonna go down, so I'll have my MP back as well. And then I'm gonna put the Tyrant out there, right? So now I have Dark Destruction, so I could just kind of hover anytime you use a card that's like like five MP or less. And then, you know, I just want to get that free damage, right? The point is to get that free damage. Like, that's really, really nice as well, right? So we're going to just wait and let Tyrant just chill out. Boom. Yep, just like that. Dark Destruction. Even if, even if he has shield, the Dark Destruction will take out the shield, which is really, really good as well. Damn, that was godlike timing. That timing was OD. Okay. That's, that's good. I don't mind that. So we're going to use this card because that's a new card as well from the expansion. It is a fl another flight card. And also gives you revenge. Look, my Wesker is a revenge count of four right now. So that'll be a four three, right? So that's gonna be pretty good as well. And I also have uh, some destroy cards, which is really really strong. All right, two destroy cards. All right, here we go. Do do do. Yep, you're gonna use your emergency strike, and you're gonna kill that card. Um, so I'm just like, oh man, you're gonna kill it. Uh, yeah, I'll just kill. I'll kill this one instead. We'll take away that two health as well. Kill that card, and I also have a, uh, like I said, more destroy. Cards. I don't know why was you did. I don't know why you did seal. I guess because you just wanted to spend it for the MP AP gain, maybe. But that was just a complete waste. I guess you can't really use it. I mean, you could use it for like other. You could you could like seal my revenge card actually, so I won't get a buff. So boom, we got we have another vial right there. And look at that. Look at that tyrant man. Four and nine got super strong as well. That's like really good. 
So we're going to trade right here, which is fine. And I have another Tyrant. Okay, that was a good shield, so you protect your... Your, your what, Jangi? Yeah, that was good. So, but then, and also, that card also gives me Corrosion. So I can use the Corrosion to kind of just kill... Uh, that's another Destroy card in general, right? The, the fact that I have another Destroy card, that's going to be really, really strong. So we're going to use this. Boom. That's four damage right there. So we're kind of like chipping her down, right? And because I'm able to just have all these cards summoning, this is really, really strong. So my my Wesker would be 5-3, and I have 6. That's nice. And I have another Wesker there too, right? The fact that I can have multiple Weskers is so cheap. I mean, you can see how strong he's going to get with like if you just keep doing late, late game, late game, late game. Because that's like crazy good, right? The fact that Wesker, yep, that's a surrender right there. Dark Destruction, and let's check out Ouroboros, man. And this is a second Wesker deck, which is going to focus on Ouroboros, bringing back Devil Ho, and bringing back a lot of these other cards using Tyrant, obviously Wesker as well with the Revenge, and Rebirth. So it's going to be really, really crazy with like high, just damaging monsters at the same time. Alright, so now we're back with some more Teppin. This is the Ouroboros deck, and this one is going to be, you know, we're going to Frost Throne, uh, we're going to have, we have the Wesker. And we're gonna pretty much use a situation where we're gonna put our devil hose into like the loser's bracket, the graveyard. And then when I get my AP22, we summon Ouroboros and we kinda, you know, bring them back to life, right? Which is that's gonna be the strong part. That's gonna be what we focus on. So we already have one devil hoe here. So we're gonna try to like, you know, eventually save that. Um, we're gonna uh, have the Justice Earth. We got some destroy cards, so we wanna destroy some of the cards. You know, put them, put them in the loser's bracket. All right, you're gonna, you're gonna do that. So this is a red green deck from X, which is interesting. So yeah, I mean, we're thinking about, it. just trying to think about. You know, you got the auto heal. You want to keep your man's strong. He does have like the victory going down, so we don't want to like get get him stronger at the same time, right? Yeah. So yeah, you're gonna do that. So now this is gonna be the part. So that's when we're gonna be like, you know what? We need to destroy and do some damage in this situation just because I don't want you to have that much health. I don't want to do just the certs because it is kind of random. So the random part is just not great at the same time. So we're going to probably, yeah, use this Devil Ho, get that rush, that six damage, boom. Yeah, we're going to just keep trading attacks. So you're going to disarm. Who are you disarming? You're disarming you Devil Ho. I don't think that's wise. I don't know why you did that. You, if you, anything, you wanted to disarm the flight guy, because you know he's six and eight. So now he's not going to lose any any damage. Like if you anytime you kill somebody, he goes minus two. Um, so the fact that you just kind of just let him just chill like that, that's whatever. So now that's cool. So now we definitely have to destroy that. Like you need to go. The reason why I use that one because there's a chance where the just deserts will um, will kill one. But like, see, I knew like he. Because it's random, but you don't know. And this is where my other Devil Hope comes from. And boom! Cheap! That's game over right here. Just like that. Oral Boros, that's kind of the gist of it. You're, you pretty much summon big boys for cheap. So, yeah, I mean, that's godlike. Please like, share, subscribe, and let me know in the comments below about more uh, Teppin content in general. So I'll see you guys later. Peace. All right, everybody. Just wanted to show you guys real quick about my new collection, the Jay Wong brand shirt. So we got this one, the Jay Wong Clutch Out. We got other shirts as well. I just want to just throw it out there. You know, it really helps a lot if you guys can really support, buy a shirt, you know, you know, share it to your friends, buy a hoodie, hat, beanie. It will really mean a lot and it will help me as a player, as an influencer, just as somebody that you look up to, it will really help me just to keep moving things, you know what I mean? Keep progressing in life and keep giving you the content that you guys deserve. Link is in the description. And once again, please, if you're interested, check it out, man. It's Justin Wong. I'll see you guys later. Peace.